Mm-hmm. Intro. Uh, this yeah. is Mr. Dr. Marlin, the G O A T, best R O T Cairo I've ever seen. I can say that with pride. Appreciate I've it. seen him twice since been Vegas. Twice last week. I've been seeing him almost once or twice a week this prep, and it's been helping me so much. Open up my quads, glutes, everything. He just like knows the body so perfectly, and he's a not afraid to hurt you. So, <laughs> luckily, I've been doing it for a while, so we opened up a lot of the shit. Yeah. And now it's fine too. And he knows not to beat me up too bad. Nah, I'm glad we did that work beforehand because yeah. I don't know, I don't know how uh, it would have gone. It would have been a little too rough. It would have been rough right now. For sure. <laughs> that's why you got to keep up with the body work. You got to take care of your body. This is so crucial. Last year I didn't do this, and I felt it in my body, and I saw it on stage. So I'm doing it all this year, taking care of everything I can, trying to keep my body right. He's helping me do it all, so. Oh, perfect. Get a nice little massage. So let's go. We're starting to be focusing more on those upper uh, uh, the ground. I like to use a shea butter, um, no essential oils or anything wild into it. They've got a tanner that's going on, and uh, you don't want anything to irritate the skin with that tanner, so. Plus, it's just moisturizing and it's good. And it glides, gives you enough grip. Because sometimes some oils are too slippery and I don't like that. start to open up this line here. As you can kind of see there's a little connection and then up through the top and then that's going to be sort of a main goal. Yeah, we have them press down that heel. Does this uh, process called reciprocal inhibition. Pretty much you turn those hamstrings on, it'll turn off the quads just for a little bit and it'll be enough for it to let go. in with his face because uh you know he's reading my face when it's yeah. you get to the bad part. Yeah because uh if it's uh if it uh you just soak up a lot of heat put 600 pounds on his back for fun so a little bit of me he can breathe a little bit in the past. so we're opening up these upper quads his lower quads, they contract really nicely. Go ahead, flex. There we are, so we're starting to open up that channel through here. And that's what he's been wanting to focus on, is these upper quads to fire when he's posing. You get little deep, like, cuts up into your hip. I'm missing that last year. Change up the technique to more of a spreading. Doesn't look too much, but let's open it. Let's open it. Let's lock back. Sartorius and like all the other adductors, they are uh, pretty sensitive. Especially when we get to the top, they feel like fire. And the second here, see those veins open up. Yeah, you can start those veins start to really pop out. Not even on any sort of heavy cardboard right yet. 
liquor I'd be using the fascia. And as they start to cut weight, it's really between the muscle and the skin. And that's what we're trying to have it let go so that the skin doesn't have that rigid look. It should just look like a wet clothes over the top. It should be is you can see what these are. For most people, there's usually a 10, 15 percent body fat that will cover that. These guys are going to be able to see it. Good sartorius on somebody. Especially right now, we, we 